Okay. It's working. It's red light now. Right. Can you give the uh, your welcome? Hey, welcome to Mr. Stillwell's chemistry class. Hey, the new kid. No. Okay. Let's talk about that. Two months ago. Okay. First thing you're going to do is you're going to play with a balloon. Yeah. Woo. So when I give you your balloon, you have the instructions on your sheet, right? Yes, sir. All right, so I don't need to explain to you what you're going to do. You're going to basically play with a balloon. Look at the properties of the balloon. Right? <laughs> Look at the properties of the balloon before oh, you... Oh, oh, hold up. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, about racist. Are we going to record it now? <laughs> yes. I'll give one to you. Rudy, you want the yellow one? Go <laughs> fancy. <laughs> You ask me your phone? You guys have a balloon. Okay. That's what I said. I want a blue one. Hey, 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 guys, guys, guys. Serious business here. Let's go. All right. So you're going to play with a balloon for a little bit. You're going to look at its properties. Avery, what are you going to? What What does this sheet say? You know. She says. Task one. Task one. Task one. Inflate a balloon and hold the neck of it close between your fingers. This is a closed system, and as long as you hold the air in, it will remain at equilibrium. Okay, so uh, what are the instructions? What are you supposed to do? Write down all forces inside and outside the system that are, are at play maintaining this equilibrium. All right, so when you you inflate the balloon, go ahead and inflate the balloon. You hold the, the neck of the balloon close with your fingers. Now you're going to observe your closed system. I want you to tell me. I want you to I want you to discuss amongst yourselves. Which forces are keeping the balloon at equilibrium? As long as you don't let the air out, it's at equilibrium, correct? Yes, sir. Right. So it begins to tell me you need to have a discussion in your group about the forces that are holding this equilibrium. Yes. Your fingers do not count. But you need to see if you can come up with more than two forces. Okay? Let's go. Go ahead. Let's go. I can't blow it. You can't do it? No, I still have a I will give you the balloons. I will hold it up for you. You can hold it. You got Forces. Do you need like actual name of We need more. We don't need more. Which forces are involved? Which forces are involved? Can I see the balloon? Huh? Can I see the balloon? Yeah, good. Let me see you. Yeah, but what about the like, <laughs> like that heavy one? Yeah. It's like a yeah. Yeah. You need to write whatever you think is keeping everything adequate. It's not getting bigger. It's not getting smaller. You know the gases are colliding with the inside and the outside. No, Tell me what are the forces that keep the ball in You guys talking about this? Yes. I guess I don't know. It's like this. The forces of the side. That's not outside. The air pressure is preventing the air from escaping. Well, I mean, I'd go with just make yourself feel better. Uh, I think that the volume of the balloon, they'd be keeping it in equilibrium. Also, the pressure outside of the balloon 
That is not entering. Which that one? But these balloons are so crazy, you know. But what's the inside force? Inside force? Yes. So if we can, it'll be the pressure. Oh, it's um. I just put air We're bringing way too little. Inside force would be air. So pressure is inside force, not an outside force. No, I'm going to grab the outside force. So we can't say carbon dioxide. Why is carbon dioxide? Okay. 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 I think he's getting my good side, guys. Thank you. I'll change the... Are you ready to fix down? Yeah. Yeah. Because if it was weaker, it could be great, then the gap would be pushed against that. So I think need to be more skeptical. So I don't know what to do. That's a dollar. Yeah, because if like if one part of the balloon was weaker and was stronger, then the gas would kind of push against the weaker part, and then it would just pop. So I'm thinking because the balloon is made of the entire same material all around, it's able to stay stable. Yeah. So yeah, walking through all the airs will come out and like to like with the greatest like. Well, the greatest is um, <laughs> because it was. Does the pressure inside. count? Like, like the pressure that the balloon has. Well, what causes the pressure? The air inside. So is that one of the forces? Yes. I guess. But in terms of kinetic molecular theory, in terms of the gases or particles, right? Right. So what? What is happening inside the balloon? What's pushing? What's pushing on the inside of the balloon? What's pushing on the outside? Well, um, the air, the air outside, I think, is pushing. Um, no, it's the surface, I guess. Yeah. And, and um, I think it's like um, it's keeping it from, you know, keeping at equilibrium. <laughs> Well, but that's, that's the whole point. What's on the inside then? The air. The part on the outside. No, I mean, I mean, yes, the air. So are there any other forces at work here? Besides the balloon itself? Well, did you take into the balloon itself into account? Yeah, because like... What does it do? It keeps the air inside. What's the forces inside the balloon? Is that all it does? Um, well, it stops, it, it stops the air inside from... Pushing outside. I mean, like, it, it keeps it, like, it separates it from the thing. It's like, you know, a water, and then, I mean, like, a wall. It's a wall. It's like a wall, I guess, for, like, the air to not go through. I guess it pushes it back. So it's what you just said. It's that, we just said that the particles go in a straight line until it hits something and then it goes back again. Right. Yeah. So? It's a wall. So it's a balloon. Yeah, but what does the balloon do? Does the balloon do anything? No, it's just stays there. Well, I think the Okay, so how many forces do you have so far? Okay, the balloon, the inside, the air inside. You can't just say the balloon. You have to say what about the balloon? The wall, the... Okay, write it down. All right, so why don't we come up with more than two forces to explain um, what's happening? We took pressure of air particles inside and outside the balloon. Also, with the collision of particles inside the balloon, maybe causing the um, equilibrium. And also, um, the volume of the balloon, because it could only hold so much. I'm not sure of that. So, but is volume is a force? I don't know. It's just a part of it. Because you can change the volume and it can still be in equilibrium. Right, right. So, could it be like. What is the balloon doing? It's just holding the air, expanding, and then. Well, not not now, but like when you blow into it, it expanded, and then you try to go off. Oh, you tied it already? No, I didn't tie it. I just twisted it. So why does the air come out? Because there was no nothing holding it at the no, nothing closing the gate like gate. All right, but if you do that with a with a bottle, it doesn't deflate. Well, I mean, air does escape, but it just doesn't, it doesn't escape as you can't see it as quickly as you see it with this. It does it not? Because like if you open the cap, think about air is gonna get out. Think about it. How is this different from opening the cap of a bottle? <laughs> Just think about it. Okay? Think about it. All right. So, have you come up with more than one force? Um, is is well, we got pressure, and I think weight is also a force. And pressure, and what else? Um, weight. The weight of what? 
the we of the balloon and what um and whatever was in his body that went inside. So the what is how does the weight of the balloon have anything to do with what happens? What do you mean? Do you mean with with the blowing of it up or the fact that it could float? When it's at equilibrium. Now what's okay? There's the balloon at equilibrium. What's hap what's keeping it like that? Finger. What are the forces? Oh, there's forces involved, right? Yeah. Let it go. Okay, so obviously there's a force because it all let up. Okay. So blow it up again. Maybe it's gonna run out of it. It's good enough. Okay. So now it's at equilibrium again. What's keeping it at equilibrium? Which are the forces involved? Pressure. Particle. Yeah, what's, what's causing the pressure? The finger. The well, no, no, it's not the finger. It, it's, it's the fact that well, he, he added um, the acid. Well, first of all, all that air inside, inside of it is pushing against right there. So, yeah, pressure. <laughs> oh, pressure. Oh, pressure. The air pressure is colliding from both the inside and the outside? Yes. Yeah. So, is that the correct answer? Okay, so, well, you don't worry about the answer. Is that, that's, that's a solid pretty good answer. explanation. You have two forces involved, right? Yeah. What are they? Tell me. You just said air. The, the air, um, the air pressure and, um, the in collision. Right? <laughs> the, is the collision not... on the inside? Yeah. And what about the outside? You mentioned the outside. The outside. Um, All right. Is, are there any other forces at all? Do you guys have any other forces? You said gravity. And then you said something about thrust and stuff like that. No, I, I said um, something about buoyancy, I think. And thrust. Okay, let it go again. How is that different from letting air out of the bottle? There's no reaction. Yeah, in the bottle it doesn't... So there's still one force you need to... Let's see if you can come up with that one more. Okay. Um, the forces? Um, I was gonna also search it up. Because <laughs> we only got two, so I was gonna search it up. But you can search it up. You probably, sure? Yeah, absolutely. I was like, gonna, then I... But, but you gotta think, okay, if you let it go, yeah. it, the air goes out. How is that different from opening your water bottle and letting the air out of that? Well, like, what do you Go ahead, open it, open it. Okay, close it. But if you let this go, right, if you let the balloon go... So think about it. Right? Right. Try to explain what happens. This is a piece of piece of uh, clay. clay. And did you say eat some? Oh, I had some of my syrup. All right, I need everybody's attention. This is all stuff that you're familiar with. Here's a piece of wet glass. Glass. I'm just going to clean it, make sure it's perfectly clean and dry. And everybody knows what this little thingy thing is. Right? Yeah. What's it called? Suction. Suction thingy. Okay. If I put it on here, right, and press it down, it stays on the glass. And I can pull it. I can pull it with quite a bit of force. Quite a bit of force there. And it resists me from pulling it away. Right, so I'm pressing it on there. I'm putting it on the just to keep it standing, right? And I now am going to place this inside the glass of the vacuum bell. Can I record this? It's already being recorded. It's already being recorded. <laughs> I mean, that's not going on my Snapchat story, though. <laughs> oh my god. Way too long. 
And because of the operation of the pump, I need to put, I've already ruined some pretty nice plug. Dr. Who? Now we're getting really sorry. Doctor, it's still well. Dr. Stowe, what's your opinion on the medical science issue we're okay, going on? Okay, Sorry. here we go. All right, so you see the, the um, what do we call that again? The bell. Suction nope. cup. Okay. All right, it's, it's holding, right? And I am now going to turn on the pump. Uh, <laughs> what is the pump? Oh, my God. It's a long move. There go. Now I can't remove it, right? The air is being pulled out of the bell. So I want you to see what's going to happen. I'm very already. I'm getting increasingly nervous. I know. that Is the clay like holding in? Is that just me? I already think everything is already in the room. Nothing in the back. If a zombie apocalypse starts, we know where it's going. Like his room blade. It's like a medical lab in here. Hey, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, you're going to pop off? Oh, I knew it. All right, so what did you observe? The suction cup fell off. The suction cup fell off. Was the clay suction cup had air contained when you No, the clay was not. I don't know why. Why? Oh, okay. You don't have to share with everybody. You just have to share with your group. So what you're going to do is, again, based on the forces involved, based on the fact that gases are made of particles that are moving in a constant straight line motion, and that they collide with a surface and bounce off, we need to explain why the suction cup fell off from the glass. What are the forces involved before I take the air out of the glass bell? And then what happens when I remove the air from the bell? Let's go. First discuss it in your group. And then we're going to write down the forces involved as far as you can figure them out. Um, I, don't want to, I can't write this out. I just like the air. Like when I let the air out of the 